This is one of the deadliest objects mankind has ever produced, the Demon Core. Welcome to a series that I'm calling Scientifically Interesting Ways to Die. In 1945, during the final days of World War II, scientists at the Manhattan Project created a six-kidro sphere of plutonium, intended for a third atomic bomb. The war ended before it could be deployed, but what was left behind became an object of deadly scientific curiosity. Late one night, Manhattan Project physicist Harry Daglian was working alone in his lab trying to better understand how to reduce the mass of plutonium needed to reach criticality. Daglian was manually stacking tungsten carbide bricks around the core to reflect neutrons back inside and increase the core's reaction rate. As he positioned the final brick, the neutron detectors in the room began to alarm. The core was approaching supercriticality, potentially turning science experiment into atom bomb. In the rush to pull his hands away, the brick slipped from his grasp and fell directly into the assembly. A blue flash of light filled the room as an intense burst of radiation ionized the air around him, desperate to stop the reaction. Daglian was forced to disassemble part of the reactor sidewall, and in the process received a massive dose of radiation, estimated to be five. One sivert's to his hands alone. Straight away, his hands began to blister, and waves of nausea swept his body, the early signs of radiation sickness. He was rushed to the local hospital, where he fought for 25 days as his bodily functions collapsed around him. Ultimately, the damage done in the exposure was too much and he became the first ever victim of a criticality incident. But the demon core wasn't finished. Nine months later, physicist Louis Sloten was using a beryllium dome to reflect neutrons back into the core. And to avoid the core going supercritical, against basically every rule of lab safety and common sense, he propped it open with a screwdriver. You can kind of guess where this story is going. During this particular experiment, the screwdriver slipped and the dome fell, and another brilliant blue flash of light filled the lab. Slotin immediately pulled the dome away, ending the reaction, but not before a massive burst of radiation hit everyone in the room. Slotin, standing closest, absorbed an estimated 210 sieverts, four times the lethal dose. His hand was almost instantly burned down to the muscle, and his organs didn't fare much better, with one doctor describing it as if he had received a three-dimensional sunburn to every internal organ. Within hours, Sloten's body began shutting down, and nine days later, the core had claimed its second victim. Following the incident, the core was decommissioned and melted down to be used in later cores, but forevermore. The story of the Demon Core will stand as an important reminder of why we don't play Jenga with weapons-grade plutonium. If you like science stories that remind us that we're all just one mistake away from glowing in the dark, follow for more.